Hi, I'm Gino Fragnito, the Government Relations Director at the Minnesota CPA Society. As a CPA and trusted advisor, you bring a lot of expertise and knowledge to legislators who are helping shape the policies that impact you and your clients every day. Come along with me today as I share a few tips with you on how to effectively communicate with legislators. As your lobbyist, I spend a lot of my time here at the state capitol. I sit in on committee meetings and hearings. I meet with legislators to talk about the issues that are important to you as a CPA and to the profession. Legislators tell me time and time again how much they trust and value the information a CPA provides. They can't possibly know everything there is to know about all subjects and value what you bring to the process. They also value knowing what the consequences of the legislation might be, both intended and unintended, and you as a CPA help provide that perspective for them. Connecting with legislators is most effective as a process, but everything you do, no matter how big or small, can have an impact. There are several very effective ways in which you might want to consider when communicating with a legislator. One of the best ways you can communicate with a legislator is by writing a personal letter. It doesn't take a lot of your time, can be very effective, and will get your point across. Let's take a look at a few tips to consider. If you do decide to write to your legislator, let me share a few tips with you. Always be short and succinct with your message. Be polite and remember legislators may disagree with you. Try to reference a specific bill number in your correspondence. Clearly ask the legislator for their support of your position and give specific examples of how the legislation might affect you, your business, or your clients. Remember, you are the expert. Identify yourself as a CPA. If you are a constituent, clearly state that in the opening of your letter. And if you want a reply, specifically ask for one in the closing. There are also a few things you should remember not to do when writing to your legislator. Don't use a form letter. Use your own words. Legislators are much more likely to respond to a personal letter than to a form letter. Don't send a copy of your letter to other legislators. Write a personal letter to each. Don't apologize for your position. Legislators like to make informed decisions. If your correspondence is informative and accurate, they will appreciate. And lastly, don't address your state legislator as congressman. An incorrect salutation can impact the response you receive. Here's how to properly address your letter to your senators and representatives. If you decide that writing a letter isn't for you and you would rather meet with your legislator in person, there are a few things you should keep in mind here also. If you leave a message for your legislator and you want to call back, be sure to say so in your message. If you want to meet with your legislator, be sure to call in advance and set up an appointment. And when you do call, be prepared to talk about issues that you hadn't planned to. As with any discussion, multiple issues can and do come up. The MNCPA offers summary pages that can give you a background and some talking points on a variety of issues. Also, if you'd like some additional information or help, you can contact me personally and I can help you prepare for your meeting or call. Always follow up with a thank you note. An email is acceptable, but a handwritten letter is even better for state legislators. For those who might wish to have their voices heard in person at the Capitol, the MNCPA in the first quarter of each year hosts our annual CPA Day at the Capitol. This is an opportunity for CPAs to come together as a group and advocate for the issues that are important to the profession and the businesses and clients you represent. The MNCPA will take care of setting up all the appointments. If it's your first time, we'll also pair you up with somebody who has had some experience meeting with legislators at the Capitol. We'll provide all the talking points and all the information you might need to share with legislators to let them know what's important and why it's important to the CPA profession. As a CPA, you have a unique opportunity to help shape and influence the policies and decisions that legislators make every day. I think once you get started, you'll find that it's a great way to advocate for the clients and businesses you represent. Thank you for making a difference.